80% of our oceans remain unexplored due to limitations in ocean observing technologies and the resources that are needed for running ocean observing missions. The biggest challenge ocean observation systems face right now is that the ocean is a very challenging environment to work in. It's remote and vast, it exposes systems to extreme forces, it's corrosive, and lots of things just start growing on objects you put out in the ocean. This prize is an exciting new partnership between NOAA and DOE. NOAA's role in this prize is to be the customer for the new technologies that the Department of Energy is going to create through their funding opportunity and prize competition. The Ocean Observing Prize is structured as a series of competitions over multiple years to encourage rapid innovation. The developed competition has three contests. The design contest, the build contest, and the splash contest. Each contest is structured to help contestants mitigate risk in their system and demonstrate their core functionality. The first contest, the design contest, will task competitors to provide detailed designs on their system and how it will function. In later contests, contestants will build a basic prototype and then test it in a test tank and at sea. The specific challenge we are asking teams to address is the integration of wave energy into an autonomous underwater vehicle to create a self-charging system that can stay out at sea for long periods of time. In the North Atlantic, we know approximately where and when storms will develop, but we don't know exactly when or where an individual storm will appear. For the scientists and researchers, this makes data collection very difficult. Current hurricane monitoring technologies have the ability to forecast the trajectories of these storms, yet our ability to forecast the intensity of the storm is still limited. Without the ability to provide remote and coastal communities with better intensity forecasting, evacuation plans and coastal protection efforts are adversely affected. Integrating wave energy capture with autonomous underwater vehicles, or AUV charging, could enable these monitoring systems to be deployed at sea for months at a time. These systems could capture constant and accurate data before, during, and after hurricanes hit land to better understand these storms. To fill data gaps in hurricane monitoring, AUVs charged by wave energy could improve the measurement of ocean temperature, conductivity, wave motion, current velocity, air temperature, humidity, and many more variables. This data can then be used to improve weather forecasting and increase storm warning time. Recharging at sea using ocean waves as an energy source enables AUVs to remain underwater longer save time and resources, and transmit critical real-time data to better protect coastal communities. Without new technologies to power our observing systems, we can't get the coverage we need, we can't get the answers to the questions we have. That's why we need the types of technologies this prize will generate. I'm excited to see actual marine energy systems applied to solve challenges and do things that were once impossible, like enabling ocean observations in the deep ocean.